Hello everyone, it's me Therese and God was wanting me to share some things with you about faith in the Bible. I will be reading from Ephesians chapter 6 verses 13 through 17. Therefore put on every piece of God's armor so that you will be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Then after the battle you will still be standing firm. Stand your ground putting on the belt of truth and the body armor of God's righteousness. For shoes put on the peace that comes from the good news so that you will be fully prepared. In addition to all of these, hold up the shield of faith to stop the fiery darts of the devil. Put on salvation as your helmet and take the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. For me, what seems most important about all the armor is the faith part, or the shield. For without the faith, all the other things, all the other pieces of armor would be invalid because you need faith in order to have those different pieces of armor. Your salvation is your helmet. You need faith for that. You need faith for your shoes, which is the peace that comes from the good news that Jesus Christ died for our sins and He rose again. Without the faith for that, without faith, we wouldn't be believing that. So, What's also very important about the shield is that when it says the shield shall stop the fiery arrows of the devil, the shield can be used in battle where people use swords, shields, armor, bows and arrows and all those different things to fight instead of guns and ballista, all those different things we have now. The shield was very valuable to a soldier or a warrior because he would, he would be able to deflect the blows of a sword with his shield and at long range he would be able to deflect an arrow as well. For close range and long range, I would say, for instance, if someone you love dearly does you wrong and treats you bad or really or a friend turns their back on you and you really thought they cared about you the faith or the shield is what you would use to keep yourself together as to let you know that God still loves you and God cares about you and all you need to do is believe in him and if for instance someone was blatantly just calling you names and calling you out of your name and disres calling, calling you very disrespectful things the shield which is the faith would be the faith to believe in yourself to know that whatever they said to you that was negative is incorrect and that God has called you to be who he wants you to be not what man says you have to be so for another part of faith I would like to move to Matthew chapter 17 verses 14 through 20. At the foot of a mountain, a large crowd, at this part of the Bible, there's a story about Jesus healing a demon-possessed boy. At the foot of the mountain, a large crowd was waiting for them. A man came and knelt before Jesus and said, Lord, have mercy. I'm sorry, that's my garage door. Lord, have mercy on my son. He has seizures and suffers terribly. He often falls into fire or into water. So I brought him to your disciples, but they could not heal him. Jesus replied, You faithless and corrupt people, how long must I be with you? How long must I put up with you? Bring the boy to me. Then Jesus rebuked the demon and the boy, and, le and it left him. From that moment, the boy was well. Afterward, the disciples asked Jesus privately, Why couldn't we cast out the demon? You don't have enough faith, Jesus told them. I tell you the truth. If you had faith even as small as a mustard seed, you could say to this mountain, Move he from here to there, and it would move. Nothing would be impossible. The faith that is required for that is only a mustard seed. A mustard seed is very small probably about probably about that big a mustard seed is 
the opening between my fingers. So if a mustard seed is that small, and if that's all the faith you need in order to move a mountain out of your way, then moving mountains should be easy, shouldn't it? And the thing about the mountains, what Jesus was really saying there, he was saying that our problems, our problems may seem like they're a mountain high or very tall and unbearable and impossible to scale, but with the faith as small as a mustard seed, we can move our problems out of the way. Just believe in God that he will work everything out and everything will be okay. And that's all you need. That's all you need to do with the faith. As small as a mustard seed. Now, with I would like to move on to another place in the Bible that has to deal with faith. I'll be going to Mark chapter 5, verses 21 to, I believe, 34. This part of the Bible, it says about Jesus healing a bleeding woman and restores a girl to life. I'm actually going to start at the 24th verse. Earlier on, in the um, about a couple of verses back, a man comes to Jesus and asks him, a man named Jairus comes to Jesus and asks him to heal his daughter because his daughter is dying. And Jesus went with him and followed him. But on his way there, there was a crowd following behind him. A woman in the crowd had suffered for 12 years with constant bleeding. Her menstrual cycle was continuing to go on and it didn't stop. She had suffered a great deal from many doctors and over the years she had spent everything she had to pay them. But she had gotten no better and in fact she had gotten worse. She had heard about Jesus, so she came up behind him through the crowd and touched his robe. For she thought to herself, if I could just touch his robe, I would be healed. Immediately the bleeding stopped, and she could feel in her body that she had been healed from her terrible condition. Jesus realized at once that healing power had gone out for him, so he turned around and asked who had touched his robe. But the disciples tried to be funny and say, um, there's a lot of people around you, so someone's going to touch your robe. But he kept on looking around to see what who had done it. Then the frightened woman, trembling at the realization of what had happened to her, came and fell at his feet and told him that she had done it. And he said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. Your suffering is over. So the woman with the issue of blood, the thing that I like about her faith, or the thing that ties into what I was saying earlier about faith, was that her faith... It may have been as small as a mustard seed, but her faith that she needed in order to do that, all she thought was that if I could just touch him, then I would be healed. She didn't even have to get prayer or anything. If she could just touch his body or any part of him, in this case her ro his robe, she thought she would be healed. So if we could think like that, if we could just say, Lord, if I could just get in contact with you, if I could just pray and reach you. And I don't even have to hear your voice, Lord, but if I can just pray and you hear my voice, then I know that whatever I'm going through, I will be able to go through it and it will be over soon. That's the kind of faith we need.